Ah, it is time for the cooking class today. We are going to do the chef. The chef, you know, is a nice thing when you're cooking. You've got to have some heat. And this is a way to get some heat chemically. I can imagine you're out there camping somewhere and your stove won't work. Well, you just carry along a bottle of calcium oxide and get a little water and you can still do your cooking out there. Now, my setup here, I have a, I like to put it on a box. If we're in a classroom, I like to have the box be quite high so the audience can end up seeing it. And because it's a little nice to be able to carry things and take it away, I like to take your 10 gallon kitchen bags and turn them inside out, which I've done here, place them underneath the bottom pan and try to then have it so that I can later pull the bag around the final reaction. You know, environmentally, we want to keep it all collected. So, here we are. We got calcium oxide. Now, you should realize calcium oxide is actually lumped. A lot of times people think they have a bottle of calcium oxide. And it is actually calcium hydroxide. Because calcium oxide picks up moisture from the air. And if it's calcium hydroxide, you won't get the heat. So you got to have the lumped calcium oxide. So let's use some. Can you see the lumps? There we are. That should be sufficient. Eh, a little more. We're trying to be, get a good amount of heat today. So there we are. We got our calcium oxide. Now we have to react it. We're going to react it with some water. And water will react with calcium oxide. That's what happens slowly. That's why you normally don't have lumped calcium oxide. But we're going to need some water. So we're just going to put a little bit of water on here and get a, just a rough amount here. And we'll spray a little bit in the corner where I didn't have to get it. And I'll put the pan on top. Now we don't want our egg to stick, so we're going to give it a little vegetable spray. And uh, gee, wonder how hot it is. Not bad. Needs a little more. It's getting there. Yes, it's getting there. Time to get the egg in the pan. So, take the egg. Crack the egg. Let's get the egg in the pan. There we are. Yes, this will be breakfast. You know, it's breakfast time right now. And now the egg is starting to go. Uh, notice this. This is actually levitation. Look at this. It's being levitated. Okay, there we are. We're going to use a right-handed glove on the left hand. And we can end up starting to get our egg in good shape. Now, I don't know how you like your eggs. Over medium? Easy? How would you like your egg this morning? But here we go. Yes. I think we're getting it to over easy already. The yolk has still got some work to do. But we're doing okay. Here we are. A little bit more. Well, that's sort of over medium. If you like to have that yolk a little runny, we're in good shape. If we wait a little bit, we're going to get it going a little more. Uh, one of the things you might note, remember the lumps that were there that you saw earlier. Let's lift this up and take a look at what we have underneath. Notice how much larger our pan is filled now with calcium hydroxide. A lot of calcium hydroxide is now there. And during the heat, steam was made, which puffed it up actually as it was made, but it should also be larger as a molecule than calcium oxide was. So we gained quite a bit there. Our egg is not too bad. If we want a little more. I have actually done pancakes with this. They have that type of pancake mix where you buy the bottle and you add a little bit of water and you shake it up and you get pancakes. But to do pancakes, you've got to go very thin. 
It's not very quick. But, uh, you know, uh, us chefs, we can do almost everything as we go along.